How can I tell of you? Uh, yesterday we have discussed about the enterprise structure. OK. In this class, we will going to discuss about the uh, what is that one? FICO global settings. Then in the another class, we are going to discuss about the general ledger configurations and all. OK, so. The main thing is here is. First of all, you need to have more focus on the interview point of your questions. OK, then only you will get the some. Uh, clarity understanding. OK. Ninda manam. SAP enterprise structure case some engine FSO enterprise structure case some engine configurations and each other clear case him. And at this same time. Enterprise structure case some engine chase in Travata. Manaki FSO global settings on a general ledger configurations on it. You put a mirror configuration chase in a particular dant low. Okay, the most important thing or chase interview point of your questions. Okay, Ella mir answer chest in a room and it is chala chala important. Uh, the way you are answering is very, very important. And uh, when it comes to the second thing, uh, I mean the thing is whatever the configurations that you are doing right now. OK, you need to have uh, a clear focus on the particular configurations. Why? Because they will going to ask you uh, interview point of view questions on the particular things only. OK, now I will going to ask you. Uh, interview questions on the SAP FIC enterprise structure. OK, so you need to uh, tell me what is the exact answer for the question. OK, so now I will start with the uh, first name is Ishan. OK. Ishan, what do you mean by company code? Good morning, sir. Uh, yeah, good morning. Company code is an organizational unit. And it is extremely important for deriving individual financial statements like profit and loss account and balance sheet. OK, what is the transaction code uh, to create the company code? So we can create company code by using the uh, OX02. OK. So shall we assign this company to company code? Company to company code, yes, sir. Yes. So why we need to assign the company to company code? So, uh, so generally for the internal uh, internal reporting, so, uh, so sorry uh, for the reporting purpose. So what are the mm -hmm. transactions we are made, we are made every day? Each and everything we just inform to the company. Okay. So that is the reason we need to assign company code to the company. Okay, very good. Nice answer. <clears throat> then next one. Uh, who is the next one? Uh, Pavan. Pawan, are you there? Yeah, bro. Okay. So, what do you mean by company? Company is an organizational unit which was established for the doing a business and related to the their specific reason, like uh, they want to do industry to build manufacturing or any other type of uh, things. Hmm. That's it, bro. OK, does company has uh, several types of local currencies? Uh, uh, yeah, bro, I think uh, yes, company has several types of uh, local currency because it was the main and it under the company. We have many company codes we can use. OK, hmm. very good. And then next one is. Uh, uh, I mean, does company have many types of company codes? Yeah, we can have many types of company codes because uh, because we can have a business area. Based upon the business area, we can create many company codes by using company. It was a main company was a main head. Under this, we can have company codes. Very good. Very good. And does company code have many types of companies? No, bro. Bro, can you repeat? Company code have many type of company. Yes, company no, bro. Would have many types of company. No, the company will be only one. Under this, we have company codes. Okay. That is the exact answer right now. Okay, very good. So, what is the transaction code to create a company? Uh, the transaction code for using the OX15. 
Okay, very good. So that is the transaction code to create the company using uh, that is OX50. Okay, uh, very good, Pawan. Keep it up. Thank you, bro. <clears throat> then next one. Who is the next one? I think. Uh, okay, then who is next one? Uh, the next one is. Uh, Shiva. Shiva, what do you mean by business area? Sir, business uh, functional, all areas in financial accounting are used to define uh, expenses in uh, companies or accounting. No, no, I'm not asking about the business functional area. I'm asking about only business area. What do you mean by business area? Define companies, define companies, uh, branches. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me, no issue. A area alone that may business branches on Tegas are at a particular one branches business area and Tegas. In Telugu, I get little English. Explain the lab of us. Okay. So Materials law business areas in T and A the Untuni, Kojinjata Chaduko. Now, okay, excuse is to Nanu. So, second or third class mention in excuse you one. Okay, now. So, okay, Nate Koni Marie, but if I chase in a Marie Chapali. Okay, sir. Okay, now communication at the Austin, Matar Dunta at the Austin. No need to worry. Okay, sir. Okay. Right. So, then next one is a shaker. What do you mean by business area? Business area is an organizational unit. It can be classified okay. geographical wise and product wise as per the requirement of the organization. Hmm. Mm, uh, like uh, hmm. under the generate the financial statement and profit and loss account is each uh, hmm. internal reporting purpose. I think. Okay. So can you give me the example of a business area? how the reporting uh, will be generated and uh, what is the exact uh, business area process for the particular company? Yeah, OK, I, uh, I, for example, Tata company is there. Is ta Tata mm -hmm. company is, uh, is the business area in the uh, Hyderabad business area and uh, uh, Bangalore business area and AP business area is a easily reach out to customer to uh, mm -hmm. easily reach to customer uh, to, to deliver the product and time consuming. Hmm. Very good. Nice. So, in which transaction code you will going to create the business area? OX03. OX03. Okay, very good. So, shall we create, uh, I mean, uh, internal reporting with the help of business area? Yes, 100%. Okay, very good. So, uh, then one more question for you. Yes, if I get the profit and loss, I mean, if I get okay. the profit, okay, for each and every business area. So, will you okay, report yes. to the company code or will you report to the company? Please report to company code only. Yeah, very good. So, company code only. No, so you no need yes. to uh, report to the particular company. company. Why? Because no. company code is related to the business area and the we areas, business to areas. assign yes. this business area to the particular company code only. Okay. Yes. And company yes. code uh, will send the report to the particular company. Very good. Super. Particular company. Okay, Shekhar. Good one. <clears throat> then next one is uh, Ashish. For you, Ashish. So what is a uh, Meaning of uh, business functional area and why we need to use business functional area. Uh, hello everyone, good morning. So regarding functional area, uh, it's uh, a business functional area is a financial accounting. Uh, 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 once again, hmm? uh, uh, a company has a uh, different uh, functional area. 
so managing that we are creating functional area mm-hmm. uh, like uh, for example tata company has a branch in uh, andhra pradesh so mm-hmm. for uh, uh, managing their expenses and profit and loss mm-hmm. everything so we are mm-hmm. uh, creating a functional area code in uh, mm-hmm. our sap uh, backend very good so here your answer is right but the way you are communicating to others is a little bit uh, different why because so you have approached 80 percentage only for the particular subject you need to tell the exact uh, sentence if for the particular business area okay that is a simple answer business functional area is used to define expenses in a company according to individual functional wise i mean functional area wise or else business area wise okay that is the exact thing that you so you have given the example that is very good but when they ask about the example you need to give so if they ask about the definition only you can just give what is the exact business functional area okay okay right very good uh, very good ashish so you have given the example for the particular thing and what about the transaction code in which transaction code we will going to create the business functional area uh, fm underscore function okay fm underscore function function okay very good um okay right what do you know about the consolidation business areas uh, sorry i don't know about that i didn't okay no worries so please remember the uh, consolidation business area question and all i have written that one uh, question also in interview point of view only that is very very important and it would give you the more result about that one see whatever the uh, definitions that you are learning right now so all those will be applied in a interview only okay interview point of view only it will be applied so why because they will going to ask you the definitions for the particular questions and also configurations for, for the particular concepts okay no worries uh, you will learn no worries and uh, uh, very good very good answer ashish so please move on. i mean please keep it up and uh, learn more subject okay yeah okay right um, so Okay, right. So the next one is who is the next one? Mahesh. Mahesh, for you, what do you mean by credit control area? Mahesh, are you there? You are in a mute. Please come out from the mute. What do you mean by credit control area? Hello. Yeah, Mahesh, tell me. Sir, can you hear me? What do you mean by credit control area? Credit control area is an organization hmm. which is used to control the customer credit limits. Hmm. Sorry, it okay. is used to control the control hmm. the customer credit limits. Okay, in which transaction code you will going to create the credit control area? And the T code is OB forty four. Okay, shall I assign the physical year variant to the credit control area? Sure. Shall I assign physical year variant to the credit control area? No, sir. It, it will assign to credit control area to complete. No, no, no. What I mean to say is. Shall I assign the physical year variant to the particular control area? Is is it possible or not possible? Not possible. Not possible. Yes, sir. Okay. So not possible means, or uh, what is the exact difference, and why you are saying not possible? Exactly. 
actually credit control areas are assigned to company code only right so hmm that is uh, no, that is uh, okay but uh, why you are saying no to the assign fiscal year variant to the particular uh, credit control area uh, fiscal why? fiscal hmm. year fiscal year hmm. means it's a calendar year okay so uh, maybe it will apply to uh, hmm. yeah you are approaching to the question uh, it will apply to every system and, and yeah. fiscal variant is two types of independent and dependent hmm. if you take okay. the dependent if you take the dependent it will apply to all hmm. it is an independent to we can create only for few things only Mm, yes. Okay. So I will tell you the answer. So you have given the exact answer for the credit control area, but uh, you haven't given the answer for the uh, particular fiscal year variant. I mean, assigning fiscal year variant to the credit control area. See, we are doing configurations for the a particular company, right? I mean, enterprise structure, global settings, or uh, general ledger configurations. Any configurations that you take. See, if you want to generate the report for the particular month ending and also particular year for each and every company code and also for company, you need to have fiscal year variant. When you are giving credit control area to the particular customer, I mean, when you are allowing a particular amount, a credit amount to the particular customers and all, so you need to have one report. so to get the report for the particular year based on the credit control area okay you need to assign fiscal year variant in the credit control area i have already told you about uh, i mean this fiscal year variant in previous session okay so when we are creating the uh, credit control area we will have update control okay in that only we will have fiscal year variant so with the help of fiscal year variant you will going to find out what are the credit limits that we, that we have given to the particular customers okay so this is the exact answer for the particular question and uh, you need to uh, have more focus on the fiscal year variant why we need to assign fiscal year variant to the particular credit control area only. okay so in interview point of view only they will going to ask you like this only not the definitions on all okay Okay, uh, Mahesh, very good answer, but need to improve. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And then next one is uh, Sridhar. Sridhar, are you there? Sridhar, are you there? You are in a mute. You can just come out from the mute. Who is this? S D V uh, Bharat Sharma. Sir, oh, yesterday, yeah, Bharat Sharma. Yeah, okay. yeah, yesterday we, yesterday evening. Yeah, yeah, Bharat Sharma. No issue, no issue. You can just go on the mute. Yeah. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, Shridhar not there when I, I think. Sorry. Shridhar is not there. In Shridhar is not there, right? Oh. Yes. Okay, all of you. So I will just uh, stop this recording for you only, and you can just download it and make it as a. SAP FICU enterprise structure interview point of view questions okay in your file only and please save it no issue 